Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, may the grace and blessings of the Lord come upon you. Thirst for God, longing for Him, is innate in every being. Even though the world may come across as godless, we may think that faith is fading, but thirst for God persists to exist. When people come across those who encounter God, those who have footprints of God, they would recognize it. In the first reading of today, it speaks of nations flocking to God's people with refrain, We want to go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Even the responsorial psalm that we repeated four times today says, God is with us. Can you and me, dear brothers and sisters, confidently say that those who meet us would look at us and say these very words, that we want to go with you, for we have seen that God is with you. Unfortunately, dear brothers and sisters, People see in Christians those who can serve them, those institutions that can help them, but they don't see us as the hot spot of God's presence, as people who experience Christ. And this is a thing that on, on which we are supposed to meditate, dear brothers and sisters. These are good reasons that we do serve. But these are not the reason for us being Christians. People should experience God in us. They should experience God's presence in us. Jesus himself says in John chapter 12 verses 45, One who sees me sees the Father who sent me. He became the presence of the Father. Galatians chapter 2 verses 20, St. Paul says, it is I who no longer lives. It is Christ now who lives in me. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. St. Paul becomes the presence of Christ to the communities of believers. Since God is love, the most efficacious and efficient way of living the presence of God is by love. Make God's love visible through my life. John chapter 13 verses 25 says, By this all will know, you are my disciples, if you love one another. Love one another as I have loved you. Jesus loved the Samaritans. In today's gospel we see, even though they rejected him. On the other side we see his disciples who were supposed to be his symbols of love to the world. Asking the master, Master, help us to call upon fire upon these people who rejected you. In doing so, they are becoming counter witnesses. Today, Holy Mother, the church celebrates the memoria of Saint Teresa of Child Jesus. She lived the love of Christ in her life. Even though she was in the four walls of the convent because she was a cloister nun, yet she is today the patron, the co-patron of missions along with St. Francis Xavier because of her thirst for souls, her love for perishing souls and her intercession for them. Her love for the perishing souls made her pray for them earnestly, sincerely and persistently. What is love of God making me do? Is the question that we are supposed to ask ourselves, dear brothers and sisters. So let us try to live the presence of God 
and become his presence to the world. Amen.